Hey folks, Alamanic the Hot Rod Hippie here. Today's video, well, it's clearly not like my usual ones. Today, I'm in my dad's shop, and I'm actually just gonna do a little walk around on the project that I'm working on with him right now. I'm down in Pennsylvania, I'm at his shop, and I'm working on his 1965 C10 pickup truck. Now, I picked this truck up in Texas when I used to live down there for a project vehicle for myself. I wanted to build a lowered, slammed out air ride pickup truck that I could tool around in Austin, Texas with, and I never really got around to it while I was working at a hot rod shop there. I just didn't have the time. Fast forward a bit and I moved back to Pennsylvania. When I got back here, I still really didn't have time for the project. My dad expressed an interest in the truck and said that he'd like to build it. So we figured that out and now the truck is his. So I'm here helping him out with the finer details, the more fabrication oriented stuff, but is a little out of his depth of field. And we're gonna see what we can get done in a few weeks of working on this truck. So let's do a little walk around. I'm gonna show you the different elements of the truck as it sits right now. And I'll probably do another one of these videos either in mid process as we continue with the project or at the end of the project. So let's check it out. Starting up here at the front, the truck has an LQ4 6 liter LS based engine in it. This actually came out of my dad's own 2004 Chevy truck that he's owned since new. We rebuilt that truck with a lower mileage engine and this engine found a home here. The front suspension in this truck is a Thorbeck Brothers P47 cross member that allows this truck to lay flat on the ground with air ride suspension. The Control arms in this project are Michigan Metalworks flat budget C10 arms and a set of pocketed stock arms down on the lower end that we custom fabricated to get this truck to sit low. The front airbags are Airlift Dominator bags, D2600 I believe is the part number on those. The steering column is a CPP one that is meant for a 67 to 72 truck, but we getting around to modifying it and setting it up in this truck with a column shift I got a one piece stainless steering shaft in there down to the rack and pinion Mustang steering rack that allows this thing to steer nicely. You have a set of basically just eBay LS swap C10 headers on there. They're shorty headers, so they're not really gonna provide much in a power gain, but they look a lot better and they fit this truck really well. The stock manifolds can be a problem to fit between the frame rails of these trucks without modification. These fit beautifully. We've also got this eBay special seven inch dual diaphragm power booster to update the brakes a little bit on here. On the other side of the motor, we got a quick performance AC setup for the serpentine belt setup to feed the vintage air AC system that is in this truck. We have a champion aluminum radiator mounted in the original location. However, I modified the mounting on it. I added these tabs on the side that bolt to the core support much nicer than the original design did, where it had a big mount that came up over top of the setup. For wheels, the project has Riddler wheels on it. I don't remember the part number offhand, but they are 18 by eight inch wheels. For a nice large wheel look, but not a super low profile to damage on Pennsylvania roads. Now, coming around to the back, wrapped inside of this six foot bed with new bed sides, is a porter built suspension with trailing arms like the original suspension design had, a GM truck 12 bolt rear in it, and a pan hard design on the suspension as well. We're going to be converting to disc brakes and it's going to be using Firestone sleeve bags for the rear suspension.
In this dead space behind the rear axle is going to be a storage compartment underneath the bed floor, as well as a fuel tank. The fuel tank is this one that I'm custom fabricating for this truck for the specific application we're working with. And I'm actually doing an entire video about this. I'm in the process of filming it and working on the tank now, so you'll see that in an upcoming video. This area over here has become my fabrication area. So I've got my Mittler Brothers shrinker stretcher set up over there, my Lincoln power mig, my drill press, my dad's toolbox, my welding bench, as well as my dad's small Lincoln welder, my Mittler Brother bead roller, my tripod, of course, some of my tools. We transported a lot of my stuff down here, so I'll be able to continue to work on this project while still having my equipment for everything I need to do. And the truck did end up getting new bedsides because the old ones were just a little too rough to bother fixing. Now that they are reproducing these bedsides, it made sense. And you can see here, this thing sits pretty low, talking lug nut on those 18 inch wheels. So that's it for this project right now. You can see the truck here has been a work in progress for quite some time, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get it shaped up. We're gonna get it to where it needs to be so my dad can take it further down the road. Look for a lot of upcoming videos that are gonna be centered around this truck as I'm working on it. I'm taking some time here and there where I can to go ahead and film some content for you guys so you can see some of the stuff you've been asking about. Bead rolling, I'm gonna be building this custom fuel tank so maybe I'll throw in some TIG welding tips and tricks, some hammer and dolly work. I'm gonna do as much as I can centered around this project so you guys can see some real world applications of the things that I talk about on this channel. So clearly this video is not quite my normal type of content, but I'm hoping to expand into this a little bit more and show you guys quite a bit of this truck and other stuff like it. So go ahead and drop this video a like folks if you liked it. Leave me a comment down below. Are you interested in this project? Do you want to see more stuff from it? Do you have a project similar to it? Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more content like this every week. I'll see you soon, folks.